Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to do another Dutch pour, explosive Dutch pour, but different. I've got another brand new colour scheme, really fab colour scheme. I'm going to do it like a spiral, like my Catherine Wheel pours, but it's going to be on a rectangular canvas, my favourite size canvas, uh, which is 30 by 60 centimetres. So it's going to have a totally different look to it because it's going to be a spiral, but on it's it's because it's not square, it's just going to look totally different. Um, so I'm really excited to see what result we get. So let me show you the colours. These are the colours. So I've got Montmartre Gold, Amsterdam White, Amsterdam Persian Rose, De La Rowney Dark Cobalt Violet. And then these two are Pebio Studio Acrylics, Iridescent Blue Green and Iridescent Red Blue. They're all mixed with Flood Fluoritrol and water. So in each bottle, it's two parts Flood Fluoritrol to one part wet, uh, paint to three quarters of a part water, except the iridescent ones. They've got more water in. So it's two parts Fluoritrol, one part paint to one part water. So 60 centimetres by 30 centimetres. Um, I've drawn on a spiral. I've worked out where the centre of the canvas is. Um, and then I've just freehand just drawn um, a very, very rough spiral. So that will be the rough outline I'm going to follow with the with the with the putting the paint on the canvas. I'm going to put on the darkest colour first um, on the spiral. So I'm hoping that that's going to be the sort of the main focus, the main colour of the painting. Um, so that's the, the violet, the purple. So I'm just simply just going to pour this on, trying to follow that shape. Right, so I've got the outline there. So that's not very much paint to start with, but that doesn't matter because I will come and put more paint again on afterwards. Um, but I just want to get all of the colours, all six colours on and then thicken up the lines. So I'm going to now put some gold just around the outside of that. Right, I'm happy with that. There's lots and lots of bare canvas still, but that's totally fine because I'm now going to blow the colours out and that will all get covered. That I'm hoping there is still enough of paint on here that will actually cover this beautifully. So it's going to be um, an explosive Dutch pour, um, which is when I blow from the centre, right from the centre, out. So I'm not going to go with the... Well, unless I do, I could always go with the motion of the spiral. Um... No, I think I'm going to stick with my original plan, which is just to go in straight lines out from the centre.
wow i'm absolutely amazed because this is nothing like i was expecting it's very very pastely and i think that that's just because of the pale pink and the pale white you can't really see the white other than a few little spots um but the pay i think it's there and i think it's muting a lot of the colors so that dark um blue that dark purple is really really pronounced which is great all right i'm just going to give this a minute because i can see the cells just evolving um i'm quite liking the center um i like it when it's not when it's quite haphazard quite random but lots of little bits of color in the center so i'm quite i'm quite happy with that it looks to me like a like an eagle like a bird these are the wings with its feet and i quite like that the cells in this are absolutely amazing. They're nuts. The, the whole thing is covered in cells, absolutely covered. Um, so I think where you've got the pale pink next to the iridescent red blue, that's where it's they've really muted together. So they've really, really blended to create this um, sort of corally colour, which just looks so pretty. You've got little flecks of the gold showing through, not lots, um, and also little bits of the turquoise showing through, but again, not lots. So the, the um, purple is definitely dominant and it's definitely a bright purple, a dark purple spiral. Um, so that's great because it just gives it the structure and it gives it the shape. But I just can't believe how many cells and how many cells of different colours. So purple, turquoise, red, blue, gold. So I can see four different colours of cells. So the only colours I can't see are the white and the pale pink cells. So, so pretty, so sparkly. So let me show you this centre. Does that not look like a bird of prey? It really does. So you've got the wings and then you've got the feet. Uh, so once you see something, it's difficult to unsee it. Um, however, if I end up hanging it from this direction, it can't look like a bird of prey because it yeah, look, would look different. Um, so, wow, I am really, really happy with this. Um, really excited to see how this dries. So it's now dry. I cannot think of anything other than a bird of prey in the centre. To me, it's instantly I saw it. You've got the wings, you've got the feet. Um, really, really like that. It's really unusual. Um, you might not see that. Um, that's all I can see. Um, look at these crazy cells. That purple has just come up beautifully. So you've got such a lovely, tight, defined spiral. Um, which is almost like it's glowing from beneath with the with the sort of pinky colour in here. Um, the cells are just incredible. My favourite feature of the painting are these little turquoise cells, the little iridescent blue, green, green blue, no, blue green cells. Um, they're really subtle. You've just got a band of them there and then you've just got odd ones there, a little bit in the centre and then some over here. So actually they're really, really subtle and they just add this lovely bright, a um, bit of colour to it. Um, so I'm really happy. I really like the composition of this, the spiral, but on the on the rectangular canvas. Um, yeah, really happy with the colour scheme. Um, so let me know what you think. If you have any thoughts about this or if you like it or don't like it, just let me know. Drop me a comment. I'd love to know what you think. Um, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.